and your life. Good morning. I'm not by myself. <laughs> hey. How y'all doing? Okay. <clears throat> I really like to look at myself. Well, I know, but we're going to do it this way today. <laughs> we're, we're trying out a different way of filming. But happy Monday. Happy Monday. We're late as usual. Uh, I wasn't late. Well, I was <laughs> late. I had, it was a rough Sunday afternoon, folks. Watching that game, cooking all this food I cooked, and, yeah. Well, you know, things, things get hectic. <clears throat> we fill our lives with stuff. I trust that you are well today. Everybody is doing good. It's a, um, it's a, it's a chilly 72 degrees outside. Sweater weather for us here in the South. Uh, we talked about this weekend that when the temperature dips into the, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, when the temperature dips into the to, to the mid 80s, people in Florida go, "Oh, it's fall, pumpkin spice." <laughs> it's 87 degrees. Uh, anyway, um, I don't trust your. Give me that because you always. Excuse us. Excuse us. Yeah, I was right. I'm, okay. I was right again. I'm right again. Yay! Anyway, uh, so when it gets into the '80s, people in Florida start screaming "pumpkin spice" because when you spend three or four months and it's 95 to 101 every day with 90, 95 percent humidity, 87 with 60 percent humidity. It's, it's, it's fall. pretty doggone good. It's, pretty, it's fall. It's very nice. So it's nice. It's, it's when I got up this morning, it was like seventy out. It's like seventy two or so out now. So it's nice. Welcome to fall. Uh, anyway, we love it. And you can sit out on your porch and fight off the mosquitoes. No, have a cup of coffee. Oh, have a cup of coffee. Oh, coffee. I'm sorry. It's one of those things like when we were watching uh, HD TV. Everybody, every house goes, can you imagine yourself sitting on here having a cup of coffee? Because that's what people do. Because every time you have a cup of coffee, you, you go outside and sit on your own night, don't you? Every cup of coffee you ever have, you go outside and sit by the pool. Except you don't. <laughs> Except you don't. <clears throat> it's kind of an ideal that's kind of dumb. But go Knowles. Knowles one day. One this weekend. Go Hawks. Yes. Hawks one this. Hawks one Friday. Wait, USF, right? USF. USF won big. Go Bulls. FAMU. Everybody. FAMU. FAMU won big too. Everybody came to the game. Except Patrick Gay of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who had to kick a 34-yard field goal that was straight on, but couldn't do it. Sorry. Frustrating game yesterday. Dude, all you got to do is do what you what you train to do. You don't have to lift weights. You don't have to tackle. You don't have to run. You kick all day, every you day, practice and get paid. All day That's all long. you do. That's all you do. And you get paid. And I want you to get paid because you work. But you can't fail that way. Any Not case. in the in the mix <laughs> like that. No, when your team needs you like that, you just can't fail. All right, listen. Um, Debbie brought uh, wanted to bring up a subject that we've approached this subject before. Yes, we um, have. But it has come up again in the. Um, I don't know, in the general media world. In the world. celebrity world. Which is my favorite, you know. Every time, okay folks, let me know. <laughs> because I wanted to do a celebrity marriage coverage thing once a month. And every time I bring it up, this one. I hate celebrities is why. It's real simple. I hate these people. <laughs> But sometimes people are interested in, in I know, those things. I know, but I hate these people. I do. You can't hate people. I, I can. Watch me. I hate these people. <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to always have a topic on that. And the last one was, uh, I think it was Eddie Murphy's ex-wife or something like that. What had come up with that. And he debunked that totally. He didn't want to talk about that, so we went the next. To, we went to another topic. So this week, I, I, I watched something, and um, it was quite interesting. 
and it has brought up a lot of discussion in in you know the YouTube world or in in the celebrity you know chat rooms and different things tweeting and all that stuff and it's about Fantasia and I don't know if any of you know but she was one of the American Idol people and um, you know she's known for her her singing and all of that and she was on this uh, radio talk show and she talked about being a submissive wife and that the husband should be the head of the household and people went berserk why is that because which is the reason I hate these people <laughs> this is the reason I hate these people uh, well because you see I think it's it's primarily because people have decided that submission when they hear submission in they go crazy and what is com what is common culture is not what the Bible talks about at all and so many people are unchurched um, they don't really get it they don't really understand it because it takes some understanding and the last thing these people want to do is take time out of their narrative and to understand to, to understand something. something they hear a word and they're off to the races with their narrative. They hear the word racist. They're off to the. They're, they, I mean, they're off to the races. They hear the word submission. Especially if a woman has to be submission, to, you know, submissive to a man, they're off to the races with their with their common narrative. And that's why there's so much kerfuffle about nothing. And really. it, and it caught my interest because I had heard so many different, all these different little snippets on talk shows and what they said she said and what. They felt how she was and all this stuff, and then I, so how they I went. Felt about yes, and so I personally went to her Instagram and I went to, you know, um, a, a segment of a, a trustworthy YouTube person that I watch, and and listened to it exactly what she said. I listened to the whole tele, the whole show that from that, and what they are saying she said is not what she really said. <laughs> because they didn't have any, because they because they, they didn't really have any understanding. And um, when you don't understand the word of God, you can't possibly understand the way people feel about this this topic. And you feel like you think on the terms of how the world thinks about it. When you hear submission, you hear that people are, you know, some a man is dominating over you or dominating over the woman and being, you know, and that's how the world has placed it to be thought of. But it's not that. And how her husband stated it is so beautiful is that it's a it's a gift that God has given a household. A, you know, a submission is the gift that a man has received and he can't abuse it. And that's really, and, I mean, and I, and I know for some people who, who don't want to look into exactly what all that means, and and we have, again, so many unchurched, so many people who are, who have taken even, you know, even, you know, even the word and twisted it to today's narrative so they don't have to really think or change, um, and what um, Fantasia's husband was saying that that the woman get the woman gives this gift to the man and he can't and he, and he can't, can't abuse, abuse it. The idea is that he's got to lead now. And 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 think about it. Even even in the natural, if you are tasked with leading something or anything, mm -hmm. and leading a group of people, not just your family, but a group of people, there's an awful lot of responsibility there. Um, there's an awful lot you have to know. There's an awful lot that you have to. Be able learn. to do and learn, and and and, 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 be prepared. and what I like, I, I like what he said is that you have to be out there in front of almost every situation. So when the situation occurs, you have an answer, you have a way forward or way through, and that's an awful lot of responsibility. And if and, and what he said, is, and if your wife and your family sees that, they are more likely to follow you. If they see that you are be, you are totally reading your Bible, we have Bible, reading your Bible, <laughs> and listening to what God is telling you through the Word of God, and they can see that you you are looking out for the best for them. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to to dominate and tell just, them you just can't be, do this. Just being so, so just being in charge to just be in charge, and we see that fail all the time mm -hmm. because. 
not only women get that wrong, men get that wrong too. Um, they get they get that wrong, and, and, and they take shortcuts that don't work. So, um, so there's a, there's an awful lot to it. As a matter of fact, you know, every time we go, every time we even approach this subject in church, um, we all sort of everybody take a deep breath because the men, and I know that women don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. The men are tasked with so much in this. It isn't like they just get to be in charge. No, 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 no. Um, and the, they have the toughest job. And the second part of, of, of that is that men are to love, listen, because this is important. Men are to love their wives like Christ loved the church. Christ loved the church so much he did what? He gave his life. He took on all the sin in the world for the church. So that's, that's a completely different standard. The word never says that the, that, the, that the wife is to love her husband. Not in that manner. So, so there's a lot. There's an awful lot that's put on, on, on men. And what happens is that men don't, don't hear that. And actually, unfortunately, women don't hear it either. Yes. So, so when we start talking about the word submission, like I said, people get stuck on, I'm not submitting to anybody. I ain't submitting to no man. I ain't submitting. Which is why your son gets, gets why your kid gets locked up. Because he, mm -hmm. he won't submit to authority. Why your marriage fails. Why, if you can't submit to authority that you see, how are you going to submit to authority that you don't see? How? How? Just, I'm just asking a question. Y'all can, can do whatever you want in the comments, and I'm sure some of you will, and that's, and that's fine. But this this is what this is this is what this is about, and the responsibility on the man in 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 this is, and if you read the if you read the scriptures, is huge, it's mm -hmm. absolutely huge. Um, there's an awful lot of pressure, but and I think it goes back to and 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 Fantasia was was sort of alluding to this. Um, she had a um, an interview on the Breakfast Club, which is one of the reasons I hate these people so much. Which is a with radio talk, a popular radio talk show. It's it's a crap show, but anyway. Um, in any case, so she was alluding to that we have this culture, unfortunately, that has led to just the opposite of what's supposed to happen. Through, and and, and she wasn't even mentioning any politics. She was mentioning that we have a culture, and basically in our culture, in our, in our community, that's led to this. And when you have, and if I may, if you have. Uh, households that are there aren't any men in those households mm -hmm. to, to start with. The women are leading. The women are leading in every single solitary role, um, in the caretaking role, in the economic role, in every single role. Um, then men don't see. Then the little boys don't see men leading. Mm -hmm. And the only men they see leading anywhere are the police and the judges. Mm -hmm. And they get a and that's aspect. negative. So they never get a, a, a good example, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go further. Even if they, even if if mama or grandmama or auntie take them to church, what they see a lot in the church, the church is full of women. Yeah. The, the the church is full of women. They're not. Where are the dads in the church? Well, because there aren't any dads in the home, they're not going to be dads in the church. So we little boys don't get to see any of that, and sometimes women are, and sometimes for good reason, frankly disgusted and pissed off with the men that they've chosen, and and the decisions that they've made, that their attitude is 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 openly hostile, mm -hmm. openly hostile to men. So the, this. This very important and somewhat nuanced message about submission never get. And then, of course, daughters are taught by these same women, you don't need a man to do anything. You can do it on, on your, your own. own. You, don't you need can no do better bad. all by yourself. You can yourself. do you go bad by, all, all by yourself. Mm -hmm. so, this, so, that, so the idea of submission has been completely lost and completely twisted by common culture in the world. So it's, it's very, very hard. Um, to move to, to move forward in any of this, it's really very very difficult. Um, and and I, it's really sad in in the black culture neighborhood because a, a lot of the men that are leaders and they they you know 
they're looked up to and stuff. They forget about the young men. I, I'm sorry, but you do. They forget about the young men, about, you know, cultivating them and helping them to, to get out of the situation that they're in. There are some good ones. There are some good men. I have one right here. There are some good Who men that, that really, you know, work on it and try to uh, uh, help young men and stuff. I'm not saying all of them, but I think that they have... They, they kind of fail in, in leading them. And then when they get in jail and they do all this stuff, then it's kind of hard for them to even get a decent job, to, to do anything to take care of the kids that they are creating. So the woman thinks that she got to get out there and do what she got to do to take care of her kids. Yeah, and that's, you know, and, and, you know, and, and, and the discipleship and the mentorship um, has historically been a problem. Now, I see that there's probably a lot that's improving a lot. You know, pe people are starting, starting to take responsibility. Um, but, I'm, but again, it's, it's tough. People have responsibility. First of all, you have responsibility, uh, uh, you know, of your own family. Um, and, and to take on somebody else's family and all their history and all their drama is, 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 you know, is a tough road. Mm -hmm. It's a really hard road. And, and some guys haven't been taught themselves. So they don't know what to do. So they, they, they want to, but they don't know to. And Finn mm -hmm. a husband made it, made a good point. Like sometimes people read a book, and they haven't practiced it, and they don't really know a whole lot about it. But then they try to teach it. Now they read a book and they've been sparked, and now they're trying to teach everybody else. So it's hard. Um, so it is, it it, it is a, a a generational thing that has to change. Yes. That has to change. And you know what? And and frankly, um, you can have as many programs out there as you want to, but until people go back to God and what God says, back to the world. we are just we're just spinning our wheels and you know what and kicking and you know and kicking at the goads. Um, but until people can can decide to do that, that we're just going to go back to what, we're just going to go back to what the word says. That's it. We're just going to go back to what the word says. Uh, now I'm going to freak my wife out because I'm going to take the screen that she's watching us, even delayed off the screen so I can read something to you. Uh, see? Told you. Look at her face. Um, let's read the New Living Translation. How about that? Okay. All right. It says in Ephesians 5, and it's 522, and there it is, there it is. For wives, this means submit to your husband as to the Lord, for a husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of the body. Um, he, he, he is the, the savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives submit to your husbands in, in everything. For husbands, this means love your wives. <laughs> okay, okay. This, is, this is the big but here. You, you hear this for the wife? Uh-huh. Okay, now for you dudes, listen up. This means love your wives just as Christ loved the church, he gave up his life for her. Okay? To make to make her holy, clean, washed, cleansing of God's word. He did this to present to her to himself as a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives. In the very same way, which means... That, 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 that instantaneously means that you can't dominate and you berate no. and, and have somebody fee, have somebody be clean and washed and feel like they're holy and unblemished if indeed that's the way you're doing it. This is she not... She actually is uplifted. Uplifted. And she's a stronger woman because of what he does for her. And this is... And then you can go out... And you can be superwoman in the world. You can do, you know, you can manage things and do things and all of that. But you, when you come back home, you got to know who the leader in the house is. You do. And this uh, is it, it's the word of God. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that's really the part that, again, is and 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 church people miss this too. They they get up, and we've had there's a whole sorts. Of, Churches and denominations 
that are built on like a single part of scripture and then they don't read the next verse. Mm-hmm. It's like, 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 like the next verse. You like, gotta read the whole book. Does, doesn't even exist. Um, and you're like, so if you read the next verse, you're like, whoa, that's a huge responsibility. That makes a man who is responsible for everything else. That's it. If the women, if, if, if the woman is going to do this, the man's got to do all of that, including mm-hmm. including possibly give up her life, give up his life for her. So there's a so there's a big difference. And unfortunately, like I keep saying, a lot of people just don't know. And a lot of people who are like on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> but anyway. Nobody's bringing that aspect to the conversation. Nobody's bringing that aspect to, that aspect of the conversation, which is why there is so much back and forth. There's, just, there's, there's so much um, rigmarole about the whole thing because they don't they refuse to see the whole picture. And that doesn't mean, ladies, that you can't have a job. You can't Mm-mm. do you know have your own business. Do do the things that you want no. to do, but. It's a partnership. So before you just jump up and do something, you get with this this leader and you discuss it on your job. If you 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 had a, this department, you're leading this department, but before you make a decision for the whole thing, you discuss it with your VP, your CEO, your you that somebody has mm-hmm. got to be the leader to help make the final decision. Well, yeah, and, and, and a lot of times you just get together to 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 make sure that everybody is still on the same page and everybody knows what you're doing. That's mm-hmm. all. That's all. That's it. Here's what here's what we're doing, and this is gonna and this is gonna benefit us. How? Okay. 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 Cool. We are in agreement. Let's do. Let's let, and, let's do and it. And a lot of times with the things that the one that are decisions that are made, the women take control of it. Once it's okay by the CEO, do you think? I trust. <laughs> I trust you. Do it. I I trust me, and I trust you. So go do it. That's fine. Because I because I believe like you, this is going to be a good. Th- this this is going to be a good thing. And it's so much easier on you if you let that happen. I mean, this continual back. This continually battle of men and women. Um, actually, the word talks about it too early in Genesis. Um, However, the way back in, 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 the, in the New Testament in Ephesians, it gives us it gives us a way out of that. It talks about that, that that's going to be an ongoing battle um, because of what the woman what what the woman did in the garden, what Barney did, <laughs> what Barney did, <laughs> and it was and, and again it was as much uh, the man's fault because he could have just grabbed he the fruit. He was just standing like an idiot. Though. Okay. Okay, I'll have some. He should have taken. He should have taken it and thrown it away, and, and then told her. And then no, go sit over there and kill the serpent. But he did. So it was much his responsibility as it was the woman's. But that's that's a whole other conversation. But this what again? This is the if you don't understand the context of these things biblically, then you end up being a talking head on on, on the Breakfast Club. And as I said, it's not. You know, it's not for everybody, mate. If you're not a godly person and you don't go by the Bible, then do your thing. I can't, I can't stop you anyway. No. But if you're going to comment on these things, then what we're going to do is, is, is try our best to set the record straight about what these things really are. Because it's really important that people understand what these things really are and what they really mean. So when somebody like Fantasia, because she's in the spotlight, or, or, or anybody, especially you know what out there on, on, on YouTube starts talking about about submission, um, you can't just get caught up in that one word and go, ah, I ain't being submissive to nobody, which is which is a problem in our, which is a problem in our American culture, not just our black culture. It's a, it's a problem in our American culture. Nobody wants to submit to any authority at all, which is why we have what we have. People wonder how did we get to this place. Because we fight authority, we fight our parents, and and we call it um, when kids do it, we call it well, you know, it's a rebellious phase. Mm-hmm. What? And we sort of go, well, let's get through it. No, what they're practicing is getting uh, being rebellious against authority. That's what they're practicing. 
And then when they get stopped by the police. By the police. Well, or, I don't or, have to listen to you. I don't have to do what you say I have to do. Or they, or you know what they, or, or they have trouble in school because they won't listen to their teachers. They won't listen to the, they won't listen to the principal. They won't listen to any, in any of the authorities in their schools, and and you cover for them saying they're just being rude. Oh, it's just at a rebellious stage. I was like that. Yeah, that's their problem. So this is this is all all this stuff. As much as you don't like it, is connected. All of it's connected. So, the word gives us, a, but the word always gives us a way out. And the word in Ephesians 5, 522, 23, 24, the, all that section give, gives us a way out, especially in marriage. If you'll do what it says, you'll find your life a whole bunch easier and a lot less complicated. And a lot less stressful, really. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, guys could get a lot to do. A lot of responsibility. And, and I know, and, and like what we were saying before, a lot of men, because of, of the cultural situation, have never heard it. Mm -hmm. And they've never heard it. And the problem is that they've already sired children. Yes. They got babies out there. That's running around being rebellious. Being raised by auntie Learning. and grandma. Now, I ain't hating on auntie and grandma. Because they do what they can. Everybody's doing the very best they can. I understand. But there are oftentimes pieces of what they need missing. Because they're being raised by auntie and grandma and mama. And there are pieces of that that are missing. They can't teach them how to be a man. No. And, they can't. And they can't. And, and, and sometimes they can't even teach their young girls on the proper place of, of women in relationships because they've had, they've made these mistakes. In a relationship, and it's really hard, and it's really tough, and it takes a very, I think it takes a very special woman to have had made that decision, and then still understand her place biblically in a marriage. Yes. That's the strongest one. That is the hardest part. When you have a, when you have been the leader, and you've been making the decision, and that was something that Fantasia said, that she has always been... The, taking care of her family, she, she her kids and her parent, her mom and everybody, and, and and making the decisions and doing all of this stuff. So when she found a man that was strong enough to help her through this and make and make those difficult decisions, so to take some of the pressure off of her, she was like, "What do you mean? No, I never thought she was mouthy and all this stuff." and it, it took her a while to realize, you know, and he said, you know, you don't have to do that now. I'm here. I'm here for you. I thought it was such a, it touched me. It really touched me for him to say that, you know, you don't, you don't have to take all the struggles now. I'm here to help. So let the man lead. Let the man, you know, let him help you. So it's it, again, it, and, and it's tough, and, and, and it, and it takes, and it does take a while. And guys, you're gonna have to, you know, and in all of it, occasionally, yes, we're going to bump our head. We're going to make, we're going to make mistakes it's because not be perfect. All, because of course we're, we're, we're love our wives of Christ, love the church. But guess what? We're not. We're not Christ. We're not infallible. We make mistakes. We miss things sometimes. Um, things fall through the cracks. A lot of times, though, get this. A lot of times, men miss things because they they want to make the decision and they make it on their own instead of going to who their helpmate, which we are. And women have a tendency to have more insight, more what, what I want to say, intuition and stuff. They have the uh, that Holy Spirit in, in, in that. Not that they don't have it. But a lot of times women can see things that men can't see. And that's why you're there. You know, you can see things and you're you're by his side. And when something is coming up and stuff like that, you can just kind of, you can give your opinion and say, wait a minute, I don't know about that. You know, I get a feeling there. And then he can come to you and, you know, and but he makes the final decision. Uh, you know, and, and, and again, you, you may miss it. But it's okay. Don't feel so much pressure that if you miss something, then you have failed. 
because you're going to miss something. You're going to swing. You, you're going to swing the bat, and you're going and you and you're going to miss sometimes. So don't feel so much pressure that because this is important. This is important. Don't feel so much pressure that if you miss sometimes, then you're going to destroy people because you're going to miss sometimes, and you're going to be able to recover. And your wife's going to see how you rec how you recover. Like we said, that, that we tell kids all the time, it's not the mistake that's the problem. It's the recovery. You fell down, but did you get up? Because you're going to fall, you're going to bump, you're going to bump your head, you're going to scrape your knee. In every aspect of your marriage, you're going to do some of that stuff. But how do you respond? Because that's what people who follow, le le people who, who look to leaders, that's what they see. They see... So and so, how you react? So and so had a multi-million dollar corporation and went bankrupt, but then they recovered and look at them now. That's what leaders are all about, and so there's a, there's, a, there's a lot to it. And um, any, any any guys, any help that you can get in these in, in these areas, if you weren't taught this as a kid, I wasn't for sure. If you weren't taught these things as a kid. Seek it out. If you have a church to go to, um, and you have a pastor or a pastoral staff that you trust, go to them. Mm -hmm. Ask them. Yes, you want to go as a couple sometimes for sure, but sometimes guys just need to go with with their pastor and talk about what's on their heart too. And especially in this, especially in this area, so you get a clear understanding what your place your is. I think that that's super important. Okay. We're going to go? Yeah, we are. How do I do? You did very well. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's love it. Oh, man. In any case, um, we got to get out of here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and mash the notification bell. I just love saying that because it's just funny to me. Uh, mash the notification bell on, on, on YouTube. Um, if you are watching or have watched on Facebook, thank you ever so much. I'm Danielle, um, who's out there. Da Danielle used to work at Music Showcase. And then she got a whole second life and got married to the new love of her life. And I, I ain't seen the girl since. <laughs> I ain't seen the girl since. She hasn't, she hasn't darkened that door at Music Showcase since since then. So anyway. Good for uh, Danielle. Um, thank you, Danielle. But anyway, um, we will uh, be back next Monday. Uh, there is a meal prep video that I just put up. Um, with some meal prep ideas and recipes that that that, that did yesterday, um, that you want to check out, it's cool. Again, mash the notification bell, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the videos, like and comment, and we'd appreciate it. All right, we got to get out of here, and make room for somebody else. Um, and I think this camera is nicer, even on Facebook. That looks good. It does. That looks really good. Anyway, um. We, we got to get out of here and make room for like I said. So we'll see you when we see you. Go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, take care of yourself. And remember this. We love you. Love you, and, and there's, there's nothing you can do, do about, about it. it. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye mm -hmm. now.